Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Agent S here, and I am reviewing Men in Black. In case you haven't already guessed. I don't know, should I wear the glasses throughout the review? I'm going to try it. Alright, so Men in Black International, starring Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, Liam Neeson, and Emma Thompson. This movie had high expectations because it is the fourth movie in a pretty much Men in Black dynasty. Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, those are hard shoes to fill. How did Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson do? All right. This movie, by any means, is not a movie where you have to overly think about it. This is a movie you go to have fun. You, you reminisce about the old Men in Black movies. You think about Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, but you're open-minded enough to welcome in the new. And they do pay a little small homage to Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones in the movie, which I thought was appropriate, very nice. But it kept its own style-ish, and it's, it's very upgraded. They have brand new toys. The bigger, the better, more fancy, and I liked that a lot. It kind of gave it its own style, its own flair. The plot line of this is pretty simple. Tessa Thompson plays Molly, a woman that 20 years prior had encountered the Men in Black when she was a child. They, um, you know, did the, the light thing to her parents and she witnessed that. And ever since then, she's always been fascinated with what that is. The men in black, aliens, alien life form. And so she has been searching for the men in black for 20 years. She finally finds them and says, hey, I found you. I'm that good. If I found you, you need me. And so Emma Thompson decides to hire her on a probation period, sends her on her first assignment over to England, which makes this movie international, where she meets up with Liam Neeson, who is the head of the London branch, and Chris Hemsworth is the best agent in the London branch. And so Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson team up together, and solve solve mysteries capture aliens what have you i personally really enjoyed this movie i thought it was entertaining from start to finish it was never boring plus we saw it in dolby which always helps the situation and i was entertained by it i really was i thought it had its own its own pathway to what the new movies are probably striving to go towards i'm they did leave the ending open, open-ended. I can see another movie follow-up. I know this movie had a very difficult opening weekend at the box office with $28 million, but I think that's because there's so many great movies or just high-profile movies out right now. If this movie was the only, like, blockbuster movie coming out in, like, you know you know, at that time within a two week period, then I think this movie would have made a lot more money. But this movie came out with Godzilla. You have Avengers Endgame still out. John Wick 3 is still out. There's just so much competition at the box office right now. Aladdin, like it's very, very heavy, but still it made number one. And I think that really says something that people do still want to see the men in black. And Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth have wonderful chemistry together. This is like what their third or fourth movie together because of the whole Avenger series. And they have a great working relationship. You can really see it. You feed off of it. You enjoy it. And I, I I had a great time. I mean, I've seen other reviews where people are like, nah, it doesn't really live up to, you know, the other movies. It's its own movie in the Men in Black world. That's what I'm going to say. So my final opinion is I highly liked it. I didn't love it because there were some flaws here and there, of course, with every movie. No movie is 100% perfect. It didn't give me like... 
chills down my body. If it did, I would say I loved it, but I highly liked it. And the best part for me about this movie was Pawnee. I love Pawnee. He's a little alien guy that decides to worship Tessa Thompson's character, Molly. And it is so cute, adorable. And he has a very important part in the movie. And I just loved him. Who cannot love Pawnee? All right. So that is my wrap-up review of Men in Black International. And if you like what I say, actually, before I say that, comment down below. What did you think about Men in Black? Do you agree with me? Was this movie being judged too harshly because it has large shoes to fill? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do we like the glasses? Let me know. Say anything in the comments. I don't care. So if you like what I say and enjoy what I do, hit the red subscribe and join the review crew.